so we were doing the lesson on wings of courage this lesson speaks about the legendary marshal of the indian air force arjun singh and uh, we had learned a lot of things about him already so just a little bit of recap to all of you so that we can connect to the to, to the things that we're going to learn ahead so what we had learned till now was that arjun singh is the only uh, arjun singh is the icon of the military history and will always be remembered as a war hero for his contribution in the 1965 indo pak war after that he was the only officer to attain the highest post of marshal in the indian air force which is equal to the army five star ranking of a uh, field marshal and uh, singh was a fearless and an exceptional pilot who had flown more than 60 different types of aircraft my voice is in low guys the speaker of my earphone is right in front of my mouth there must be a problem with your speaker or maybe your internet connection pranali your video is on again i am putting you in the waiting room i'm really sorry but i have to do this rudraksh from chembur you as well anybody who puts the video on will be put there and if this disturbance continues guys i'm really sorry i will not be able to give you my best and also tell you the story that i was supposed to tell you so it's all up to you people now i can still see a lot of people having the videos on swara from vile parle has her video on someone from vikroli also has the video on all right is only officer to attain the highest ranking uh to attain the highest was a marshal which is equal to the five star ranking arin from ghatkopar can you please put your video off all right he has flown more than 60 different types of aircrafts he played a major role in transforming the iaf into one of the most uh, influential forces in the world india indian air force is the fourth biggest air force in the world uh, we also come to know a lot of things about him that he was an epitome of the military leadership and uh, he did not speak a lot okay uh, he was honored with the rank of marshal in the year 2002 on the republic day there were two other people who were awarded uh, with the rank of field marshal he was known as a man of few words had a lot of deep knowledge about air power and he used all of this in wide spectrum of areas and we had discussed about this his major contribution was during the 1965 indo pak war and uh, that's what we learned here commending his role in the war yb chavan said that he was a very he was jewel of a person very efficient and a very firm person and a very unexcitable leader in 1994 he led his army his squadron in two to three wars now i will discuss about that so the first one is the arakan campaign the arakan campaign was fought between the british india and the japanese forces the arakan campaign and the imphal campaign both of these okay the arakan campaign and the imphal campaign were, were both fought between the japanese army and the british india army okay i hope you will note all of this down and the next uh, war which was world war 2 which was fought between the allied forces and the axis powers i want you to write it down in the chat as to which which team did the british army 
belong to the british india belong to which team axis forces axis powers of the allied forces very good a lot of people have given me the correct answers the allied forces that's really good all right so ye humne dekh liya tha now we move on nikhil soni from dn nagar your video is on i request omkar sir to remove nikhil soni please all right arya from jb nagar should also be removed for the video being on okay in recognition of his feat let us understand the meaning of the word feat feat is an achievement all right in recognition of this feat of uh, you know the way he performed in the world war 2 and all the wars that he was supposed to uh, to be a part of he was awarded with the distinguished flying cross as dfc on the spot by the supreme allied commander of southeast asia the first indian pilot to have received it i wanted to underline all of this over here okay so because he performed really well uh, in in those wars on the spot when as soon as the war was over the war was done the south the supreme allied commander of southeast asia announced the distinguished flying cross the dfc for arjun singh and he became the first ever asian pilot the first ever indian pilot rather to have received it singh was selected for the empire pilot training at the royal air force cranwell that is in scotland in 1938 where he was known as 19 years old he retired from service in 1969 so a lot of people had these questions sir when was he born sir when did he retire so guys this is your information okay ye as main aapko pehle bata tha that this is an article from the indian express which was published in 2017 just after the demise of uh, arjun singh the great arjun singh to ye jo hai inhone koi article aisa khas likha nahi hai they simply copy pasted a lot of things from here and there from wikipedia and from different websites and they've just put everything so it's not in a chronological order over here all right so now we go to his past so he was selected for the empire pilot training course at raf royal air force now the royal air force guys can someone tell me which country did the royal air force belong to put your answer in the chat which country did the royal air force belong to come on quickly yes it was england uk very good it belonged to the uk united kingdom and the empire pilot training course happened in a country called scotland okay the city is cranwell in scotland in 1938 in 1938 he was 19 years old so guys can you tell me in which year was he born in 1938 if arjun arjun singh was 19 years old can you tell me in which year was he born yes he was born in the year 1919 okay so guys just imagine 19 years old in india right now where a lot of boys and girls are not at all clear about what ambitions they have in life they are simply you know hanging around with different people they are not at all serious about their careers and all of that this man was already a part of the royal air force it's something commendable okay and he retired from service in 1969 so guys do you see this he retired in the year 1969 and guys in which year do you remember that he was given the award of the marshal in which year was he awarded with the rank of marshal in the year 2002 right so guys what you will learn now thoda aage hum padhenge ki 1969 mein retire hone ke baad se lekar 2002 tak bhi how was arjun singh still contributing you will learn this in the lesson we will see it ahead let us move on quickly singh was born on april 15 1919 so you already have this now he was born on april 15 1919 and i wanted to write all the dates and all the ranks that he has achieved that he had achieved okay because ye aapko flow chart mein aa sakta hai exam ke andar aur ye aapko answers mein bhi bahut help karega so singh was born on april 15 1919 in lalpur which is now called faisalabad in pakistan so guys 1919 if you know india was called akhand bharat okay so afghanistan was also our part uh pakistan was also our part bangladesh was also our part and that's where he was born in the country in the city of lalpur which is now faisalabad in pakistan he completed his education at montgomery okay montgomery the word means of weird importance but montgomery is a university okay which is now sahiwal in pakistan okay wahan pe unhone apni education puri ki so guys he belong to a very well to do family 
what do you mean by the phrase well to do put your answers in the chat what is well to do what do you mean by well to do well to do means a rich family or a wealthy family or a well settled family very good guys that's that's a good answer a good rich family all right so now let us see what was his first assignment pehla assignment kya tha his first assignment on being commissioned was to fly westland vapity biplanes please note this down guys you will learn some names about some fighter planes also the first assignment what do you mean by assignment assignment means anyone you want to answer this what do you mean by his assignment what is an assignment assignment is a project work mission very good atharva very good all right all of you all of the people answering are answering it correct his first mission was to fly the westland rapidy biplanes and where was supposed to do it in the north western frontier province as a member of the number 1 RIAF squadron let's understand the word commission is a role given or a mission you can say where biplanes mai aapko bataunga ye kya hota hai and what do you mean by number 1 RIAF squadron now guys i want you to tell me the full form of RIAF you can raise your hand if you want to give this answer RIAF all right honbri from saitam i'm unmuting you hi honbri can you hear me yes sir Yes, please tell me, Hanvi. What do you think the mean is it the should, full form of this? It should be Royal Indian. Yeah, it should be Air Force. Yes, it means Royal Indian Air Force. Shravani from from Dia Nagar. I can see you sleeping on the bed, lying on your couch, and putting a camera on. Thank you so much. So that's Royal Indian Air Force. Now, guys, Royal Indian Air Force was. that organization that was actually ruled over that was actually ruled over by the british so ye ek indian air force hi tha but is pe jo uh, rule tha wo british ka chalu tha so okay that is what uh, rif now number 1 rif squadron squadron means a team number 1 means the first ever team formed by rif okay this is the best टीम ये सबसे जो बेस्ट होती है टीम जिसमें सारे के सारे बेस्ट पायलट्स होते हैं और सारे के सारे मोस्ट एक्सपीरियंस पायलट्स होते हैं इसके अंदर ओके नाउ डू यू वांट टू सी द फोटोग्राफ ऑफ वेस्टलैंड वैपिटी बायप्लेन्स राइट अ यस इन द चैट एंड आई विल शो इट टू यू राइट नाउ कम ऑन शो मी योर यस इज इन द चैट इफ यू वांट टू सी द पिक्चर आई विल शो इट टू यू राइट हियर राइट नाउ आई हैव द पिक्चर विद मी Okay, let me show it to you. Just a moment, guys. Chahat from Ghatkopar, I can see your sibling watching over the phone in the camera. Please give me give me a moment. I'm showing it to you. Guys, please wait. Stop messaging, please, guys. Just stop messaging, guys. Please wait.
I don't know, there's some problem here. And I think now it should work just a moment, guys. All right, I think you can all see my screen now. So I am showing you the photographs, the first photograph of Westland Rapity. So guys, here is Westland Rapity as you can see on the screen. And these are biplanes. Why are they called biplanes? Because you can see they have two wings. Can you see? Ek wing niche, ek wing upar, or ek wing udar, ek wing. These are called biplanes, bis two. All right. These, this is Westland Rapity. All right. Okay, now let us go back to the PPT. All right, so he has flown a Westland Rapity. Now what I'll do guys is I'll show you all the photographs of the planes in the end so that we don't waste for the time. Okay, now after a brief stint, the meaning of the word brief stint after a short period of work, after a short period of time, after a brief stint, with the newly formed number two RIF squadron, where the marshal flew against the tribal forces, he later moved back to the number one squadron as a flying officer to fly the Hawker Hurricane. He was promoted to the rank of squadron leader in 1944. Now, let us see this. So, after a brief stint with the newly formed number two RIF squadron, now number one RIF squadron ban gaya, iske baad dusri team banani thi. When you make a when you make a new team, the challenge is that all the people that you have in that team are inexperienced and new. So, if you want that new team to get experience, you need to send one of your number one squadron, uh, you know, team member to go to the number one two squadron and lead them and train them. And Marshall was then sent to the number one two RIF squadron to go and train the new, newly appointed pilots. And there also, he fought against the tribal forces. Now, these tribal forces, guys, this was a war that happened in Syria. Okay, the war in Syria was in Syria. So, some of the uh, uh, you know, forces were there, the military forces, officially military forces were there. The other forces were there, which were there, who 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 were there, like what Preet Parmar is trying to say here, from Takshila. So, Marshall also flew against them. So, there were a lot of wars. He later moved back to the number one squadron. So, he was the number one squadron as a flying officer. If you remember, I shared a list of the whole ranks. You can see the rank of the flying officer. And then he was supposed to fly the Hawker Hurricane. And then he was supposed to fly the Hawker Hurricane. Now, the Hawker Hurricane is another aircraft. Okay? There is an aircraft, Hawker Hurricane. I will show you the photo in the background. He was promoted to the rank of squadron leader in 1944. So guys, here comes another promotion. Pele Aya uh, first of a flying officer, now squadron leader in 1944. I hope you are marking all of this because this is all going to be very important. And why was he promoted? Because he was, he was promoted for his role in successfully leading the squadron in combat. Now, what do you mean by the word combat? Please write your meaning. What do you mean by the word combat? Aman from Ghatkopar, a video is on. What do you mean by the word combat? Combat is, combat is a war, an air war, a fight. Very good people. All of them giving the correct answers. Love this about all of you. All right. So he was awarded a distinguished flying cross. This is not the other distinguished flying cross, guys. This is the same one that we have up on top. So don't be confused. As I told you, this is not written in order. And that's why you will get confused. It's the same DFC, so do not worry. On August 15, now this is wonderful. On August 15, 1947, he achieved the unique honor of leading a fly past over a hundred IAF aircraft over the Red Fort in Delhi. Now, I want you people to put your 
hands up if you know what does this fly past mean so because preet has put his hand up first okay uska aap hath chala gaya i am unmuting arya from jb nagar hi arya can you hear me hello arya okay i think arya doesn't want to speak no problems let me see aur kiska haath dikh raha hai mujhe i can see avishkar from khatko par avishkar i am unmuting you avishkar can you hear me yes sir yeah avishkar tell me what does this fly past mean sir uh, fly past means a group of aircrafts which are uh, just going over in the sky uh, to respect some uh, respect and honor someone all right thank you so much avishkar that was a very perfect answer thank you so much avishkar all right so guys a fly past usually aapko pata rahega during the republic day and uh, uh, and what do you say and also during the uh, independence day हर एक जो भी हमारा डिफेंस इंडियन डिफेंस उसके जितने भी बटालियन या अलग अलग टीम्स हैं दे ऑल परफॉर्म समथिंग ऑन द अदर एट द रेड फोर्ट और इन द रेड फोर्ट आई शुड से तो इंडियन एयरक्राफ्ट जो है इंडियन एयरफोर्स जो है वो भी बहुत सारे स्टंट्स करते हैं स्काई में और एक फ्लाई पास्ट होता है और एक फ्लाई पास्ट एक स्पेशलिटी का ये है कि पहले के जमाने में दे वुड यू नो पुट अप द इंडियन ट्राई कलर आउट देयर ओके Uh, और अभी वो लोग क्या करते हैं जो स्मोक होता है ना फ्लाइट्स का जो एक प्लेन का जो स्मोक होता है उसको वो लोग सैफ्रन वाइड एंड ग्रीन में डिवाइड करते हैं और एक फॉर्मेशन में ये लोग फ्लाई करते हैं तो जब दे दीज पीपल दे फ्लाई दे एयर दे एक रफ सब दी अप इन दी एयर यू कैन सी द स्मोक ऑफ थ्री डिफरेंट कलर ट्राई कलर एंड दैट्स हाउ दे आर पेइंग ट्रिब्यूट दैट्स हाउ दे पे ट्रिब्यूट टू ऑल द पीपल वो सेटिंग आउट दर इन द रेड फोर्ट जैसे कि अभी काफी लोग बोल रहे हैं सर अभी अभी हुआ था थर्ड मे को it took a uh, place to tribute to pay a tribute to the corona warriors exactly that's a fly pass so guys you can imagine the first ever fly pass that took place on the uh, on the on the 30 on on the 15th of august 1947 actually he was the one who led that okay so that is a very unique achievement a very unique achievement and a unique honor that he got all right after his promotion to the rank of wing commander another promotion guys he attended the royal staff college at the uk immediately after the indian independence he command he commanded commanded as in he was the leader he commanded ambala ambala guys if you know is uh, is a port jaise ki pathan court ek air base hai waise ambala bhi ek air base hai okay so in in haryana so he was he was the one who led the ambala uh, बेस इन द रैंक ऑफ ग्रुप कैप्टन सो एक और प्रमोशन उनको दिया गया ये वाला ओके अम्बाला कंटोनमेंट वेरी गुड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन ही वॉज प्रमोटेड दूसरा प्रमोशन मिला उनको एंड टूक ओवर एज द एयर ऑफिस कमांडिंग एओसी ऑफ एन ऑपरेशनल कमांड विच लेटर वेंट ऑन केम ऑन टू नोन एज वेस्टर्न एयर कमांड सो गई जब इसका मतलब क्या बता रहा हूँ ध्यान से सुनिएगा इंडिया में इंडिया इज अज कंट्री राइट सो द वेस्टर्न एयर कमांड consists of all the operational air bases jisme rajasthan aata hai gujarat aata hai maharashtra aata hai uh, uh, haryana aata hai thoda bahut and uh, karnataka aata hai okay uske baad mein if you go to the central air command to usme madhya pradesh aata hai aur usme aur bhi do teen states aate hain you go to the northern air command to usme you have jammu kashmir you have himachal pradesh you have uttarakhand uh and and you have a uh, chandigarh you go to the northeastern uh, air command wahan pe aapko do jo northeastern states hai wo aate hain to isko bolte hain uh, air command so isme kaisa aata hai ke pehle wo ek ambala jo ek air base tha uske head the and then wo pure ke pure western air command ke base ban gaye yani khali ambala hi nahi western air command mein jitne bhi andar bases aate hain maharashtra ke gujarat ke rajasthan ke wo sab ke head ye the so that was another promotion that he received i think i'm very clear mai jo bata raha hu bahut simple way mein bata raha hu aur aapko samajh mein aa raha hai so commanded as in to be the leader in short leader banna commanded means to lead air commander guys is a rank wo maine aapko bhej di hai already aap dekh sakte hain baad mein all right 
uh, Singh had the distinction of having the longest tenure as the AOC. Distinction, please write the meaning. The word distinction means uh, the achievement. So Singh had the achievement of having the longest tenure as AOC of an operational base. So guys, what do you mean by the word tenure? Come on, put it in the uh, chat. Tenure. Tenure ka matlab kya hota? Jaldi se. Tenure. No, tenure doesn't mean to retire, Vihan. Tenure means a period of time. Duration. Very good, very good. Tenure means a duration. So he holds a record of being uh, of, of uh, you know, being the AOC of an operational base for the longest period of time. First, initially from 1949 to 1952. That's an important year. Okay, and then once again from 1957 to 1961. So in total, guys, how many years was AOC the operational base? How many years was calculate the 1949 to 52 and 57 to 61? Seven years. Yes, seven years. That is the highest, longest tenure for an AOC of an operational base. After his promotion to the rank of Air, Air Vice Marshal, guys, he got promotion. He was appointed as the AOC in C of the operational command. Now, AOC in C means Air. Okay, you can tell me. I have told you. AOC. Yes, Air Officer, Air Officer Commanding in Chief. This is by Samarth from DN Nagar. A lot of other people have also given the right answer. So, as you guys know, this was the AOC of the Western Air Command. So, in the whole India, as many AOCs were in the whole area, Western area, the AOCs were in the Western zone, the Central, the North, the East, the South, the North East, the East, all the heads of them, okay? They say AOC in C. All right, that is Air Officer Commanding in Chief, okay? Towards the end of 1962 war, he was appointed as the deputy chief of the air staff and he became the vice chief of air staff. So, you can see, there were two more promotions in 1963. He was the overall commander of the joint air training exercise Shiksha held between IAF, RAF, Royal Air Force and RAAF, or Australian Air Force, with us. So, you can see, there were Indian Air Force, British Air Force and Australian Air Force. Three of them had a conduct. Okay. Uh, training exercise, which was head of Indian Air Force, ka insan tha, which is, I think, a matter of pride for not just us, but for everyone in India. On August 1, 1964, in the rank of Air Marshal, the Marshal of the Air Force, Arjun Singh, took over reins or reins of IAF. What do you mean by reins of IAF? Took over control. Very good, very good. Yes, Preet, slowly and steadily he climbed the ladder of success. But it, it wasn't slowly actually, if you see, 1947 to 1963, this person was top. Within no time, within 15 years, he was at the top of the, of the rankings of the Indian Air Force. So he was very quick actually. At a time when it was still rebuilding itself and was gearing up to face new challenges. Guys, I want to ask you people, why do you think the word rebuilding in 1964 was rebuilding in 1964? Raise your hands and I will uh, unmute you and then you can answer. Everyone raise your hand. So it's Avishkar once again, but I will go with someone else because everyone should get a chance. Uh, Mayank, I am unmuting you. Hi Mayank, can you hear me? Mayank, am I audible to you? Okay, I think Mayank can't hear me. I go with Grishma from Ghatkopar. Hi, Grishma, can you hear me? Uh, Hello, sir. Hi, Grishma. Sir, it's Grisha. So sorry, it's Grisha. So sorry. It's okay, sir. Okay. Right. I think it's redeveloping. All right, okay. Thank you, Grisha. You can mute yourself. Yes, sir. Does anyone else also want to answer? If you still wish to answer, you can put your hands up. Roshan Shukla from JB Nagar. Yes, Roshan, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Tell me, Roshan, why do you think that the Indian Air Force needed to rebuild itself? Sir, I did not properly heard the question. 
you didn't understand the question yes i am asking wahan par likha hua hai that uh, that the indian air force was still rebuilding itself yani build kiya tha shayad gir gaya tha fir se rebuild kar raha tha so what do you think was the reason ke wo rebuilding ka zarurat tha sir wahan pe war hua tha kahan par uh uh world war ke baad uh pakistan aur india ka war wars ke wajah se war ke baad 5 mein hua tha indian pakistan war ye na uske pehle ka baat hai world war uh no problem no problem beta happens koi baat nahi chal thank you so much all right guys i won't waste much time i'll tell you why because guys 1960 mein ek aur war hua tha can someone write what war was it 1960 mein it was the indo china war Yes, I'm really sorry, Daksh. Yar, what time jara the skill? I had to answer this. Indo-China war. A lot of people are giving the correct answer. Now, yes. So, us me, hamne already bhot sir. Ham wo war haare the. If you remember, so we had to rebuild ourselves and to gear up. The meaning is given to get ready for new challenges. Singh was the first air chief to keep his flying currency till his CAS rank. I wanted to tell me the full form of the of the CAS rank. CAS kya hota hai? What is CAS? Come on, yes, it's Chief of Air Staff. Now, guys, this flying currency means the experience of flying the aircraft. The meaning is given right in front of you. Now, this means that guys, usually, when a person gets promotion, so in the Air Force, they stop flying because their job is to sit in the office and plan. But Arjun Singh was so passionate about uh, passionate about flying that he kept flying till his retirement. Okay. वो हेड बन गए थे एयरफोर्स के तब तक वो फ्लाई करते थे भले वो वॉर पे नहीं जाते थे बिकॉज ही वॉज फिट इनफ टू गो टू द वॉर ओके बट हाउ वुड ही फ्लाई ही वुड फ्लाई मे बी फ्रॉम वन बेस टू द अदर बेस समझो अगर पठानकोट बेस से अगर उनको नलिया बेस जाना है तो वो एक एयरक्राफ्ट फ्लाई करके जाते थे अपने टीम के साथ में सो ही केप्ट फ्लाइंग सो दैट वॉज इज पैशन फॉर फ्लाइंग ओके हैविंग फ्लोन ओवर सिक्सटी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट फ्रॉम प्री वर्ल्ड वॉर एयर टू बाई प्लेन to the more contemporary contemporary means modern nats and vampires he had also flown in the transport aircraft like the super constellation guys is sabke photos main aapko dikhaunga once we are done okay so super constellation was a transport aircraft guys isme kya transport karte hain can you please write it down in the chat what kind of things do these people transport in the uh, super constellation jet they Yes, they transport cargoes. They transport soldiers as well. Kabi agar war ho rahi ho aur backup chahiye, to soldiers ko ek base se dusre base se fly karke leke jaate hain. Arms and ammunition is very good. Very good. Gaurav, I wanted to raise your hand. Gaurav, raise your hand. Gaurav, do you have a doubt? Gaurav, you said you have a doubt. Okay, anyway, last one solve for me. Okay. CAS means Chief of Air Staff. Okay, right. सुपर कॉन्स्टलेशन एज एड इज अ ट्रांसपोर्ट एयरक्राफ जिसमें लोग बहुत कुछ शाम से ट्रांसपोर्ट करते हैं उन्होंने वो भी चलाया है ऐसा नहीं बोला उन्होंने यार मैं तो फाइटर पायलट है मेरे सब नहीं चलाया तो सीज एन एवरीथिंग इन 1965 इन पाकिस्तान लॉन्च इट्स ऑपरेशन ग्रैंड स्लैम मार्क दिस विद एन आर्मर थ्रस्ट लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड दिस लॉन्च एज इन स्टार्टेड लॉन्च इज स्टार्टेड आर्मर्ड इज कवर्ड एंड प्रोटेक्टेड एंड थ्रस्ट इज पुश ओके टारगेटेड एट द वाइटल सिटी वाइटल का मतलब होता है वाइटल का मस्त मतलब होता है इम्पोर्टेंट टाउन ऑफ अखनूर सिंह लेड आई एफ थ्रू द वॉर विद करेज डिटर्मिनेशन एंड प्रोफेशनल स्किल ही इंस्पायर्ड आई एफ टू विक्ट्री डिस्पाइट द कंस्ट्रेंट कंस्ट्रेंट्स का मतलब होता है लिमिटेशन कंस्ट्रेंट्स का मतलब होता है रिस्ट्रिक्शन इम्पोज ऑन फुल स्किल यूज ऑफ द एयरफोर्स कॉम्बेट पावर ऑल राइट गाइज नाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू लिसन टू द स्टोरी ऑफ द इंडो पार्क वॉर कम ऑन टेल मी डू यू वॉन्ट टू लिसन टू द स्टोरी of the indo pak war and see how he helped india win that war okay ab dhyan se sunna pura story bata raha hu aapko so now what happened was the pakistanis they launched their operation called grand slam ab is operation mein what do you know ye ek baat to aap sab jante hain 
what this Pakistan trying to capture from India since independence? What is that one thing that they're trying to capture? Come on, Kashmir, right? Everybody knows this. So they opposite tried to Kashmir ko capture karne ka. Now the plan was to attack the vital, the most important town of Akhnur. Kashmir make town to Akhnur, which was very important. Tha. Why was it important? Because it was the only way that connected the Indian army with Kashmir. वो एक ही रास्ता था जहां से इंडियन आर्मी कश्मीर में घुसती थी और वहां पर उनका जो भी यू नो आर्म्स एंड एम्यूनिशन खाना वाना सब वहां पहुंचा था दैट वाज यू ओनली वे हाउ द इंडियन आर्मी कुड एंटर कश्मीर सो दे प्लान पाकिस्तान ने अभी प्लान किया अपन अखनूर पर अटैक कर देंगे और अगर अखनूर पर अटैक किया तो पाकिस्तान इंडियन आर्मी विल नेवर बी एबल टू गेट इनटू कश्मीर दैट वाज द प्लान नाउ द जनरल ऑफ आर्मी एट दैट टाइम ही वाज ही रियलाइज्ड के यार हम अब कुछ नहीं कर सकते हम बुरी तरह फंस चुके हैं ठीक है तो जो पुरानी आर्मी है उनको ये लोग मार रहे थे और जो नई आर्मी वो कुछ नहीं पा रही थी अंदर कश्मीर में सो ही कॉल द डिफेंस मिनिस्टर एट दैट टाइम दैट इज वाई बी चवान इफ यू रिमेम्बर उनका नाम हमने पढ़ा था उनको कॉल करके बोला कि वी नीड सम हेल्प कैन एयरफोर्स हेल्प सो अर्जुन सिंह वॉज कॉल ना अर्जुन सिंह का एक खास बात था जो मैंने बहुत रिसर्च किया उनके बारे में ही वुड नेवर से ओके लेट मी थिंक इफ आई कैन हेल्प ओके लेट मी कंसल्ट दर अदर पीपल ओके लेट मी यू नो डू दिस लेट मी डू दैट ही विल नॉट से ऑल ऑफ दूड सिंपली से करने का काम मैं करेगा आई विल डू दिस आई विल गेट द जॉब डन ही वुड से सो नाउ ही इमीडिएटली कॉल्ड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ अर कंट्री देन कैन यू राइट द नेम ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ अर कंट्री नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव कौन थे नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव में क्या बात है एल बी एस लिख के भेजा है लाल इंदिरा गांधी नहीं थी बाबा इट वॉज लाल बहादुर शास्त्री जी लाल बहादुर शास्त्री जी वॉज द इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर एट दैट टाइम एंड वेन लाल बहादुर शास्त्री जी एंड अर्जन सिंह डिस्कस्ड शास्त्री जी डिड समथिंग कमेंडेबल शास्त्री जी टोल अर्जन सिंह अर्जन सिंह आपको जैसा करना है आप वैसा कीजिए आपको पूरा फ्री हैंड है बस हम पूरा का पूरा एयरफोर्स पावर नहीं यूज कर पाएंगे आपको थोड़ा ही एरोप्लेन मिलेंगे सो आपको जो करना है उसमें करना है क्योंकि हम भी रीबिल्ड कर रहे थे वो टाइम पर बट आपको जैसा करना है आप करिए आई एम आई एम इन फुल सपोर्ट ऑफ यू एंड देन केम द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन वॉज अर्जन सिंह जी कितने दिन लगेंगे ये करने में हाउ मेनी डेज वुड यू टेक टू गेट द प्लान रेडी एंड अटैक द पाकिस्तानी आर्मी एंड यू नो वॉट अर्जन सिंह आंसर वॉज अर्जन सिंह सेड वन आवर शास्त्री जी ने दिन पूछे अर्जन सिंह ने बोला मुझे दिन नहीं चाहिए सर मुझे सिर्फ एक घंटा चाहिए एक घंटे में हमारा अटैक अखनूर पे होगा और पाकिस्तानी आर्मी पूरी की पूरी खत्म होगी विद इन वन आर पठानकोट और दो तीन और हमारे बेसिस थे वहां से 36 सिक्स एयरक्राफ्ट दे टूक ऑफ एट यू नो विद इन नो टाइम एंड दे ऑल फ्लू इन वेव एक अलग अलग डिजाइन में वो लोग फ्लाई कर रहे थे विद इन वन आर दे अटैक दिटी ऑफ अखनूर and they attacked the pakistani front forces unko itna buri tarah se mara ki they had to cancel their attack on akhnur in 1965 and the next war between india pakistan happened in the 1990s yani unko 30 saal lage wapas se apni puri army build karke aane ke liye unko is tarah se khatam kiya arjun singh ka ek decision ne and you know what guys the most important part when arjun singh attacked the city of akhnur he told his pilots ek bhi civilian mara nahi jana chahiye कोई सिविलियन नहीं मरेगा यानी कि कोई भी वहां का लोकल इंसान नहीं मरेगा तो उनको बिना हार्म पहुंचाए ये इंसान ने पाकिस्तान को हरा के घर पे भेजा इसी बात पे इसी बात पे लिख दो चैट में भारत माता की कमाल इसी बात लिख दो चैट में भारत माता की जय क्या बात है ऑल राइट लेट्स मूव ऑन Singh was awarded Padma Vibhushan for his astute leadership. Astute means sharp and intelligent. He was awarded with Padma Vibhushan for his astute leadership of the Air Force during the war. Subsequ uh, subsequently, that is next in recognition of the Air Force's contribution during the war, the rank of CAS was upgraded, and Arjun Singh became the first Air Chief Marshal. ऑफ द इंडियन एयरफोर्स सी एस के बाद जो टॉप मोस्ट रैंक होती है वो उनको दे दी गई ऑल राइट ही रिमेन्ड अ फ्लायर टू द एंड ऑफ इज टेन्योर इन आई एफ टेन्योर का मीनिंग हम जानते हैं ऑलरेडी 
विजिटिंग फॉरवर्ड बेसिस एंड यूनिट्स एंड फ्लाइंग विद द स्क्वाड्रन जैसे मैंने आपको बताया अगर एक बेस से दूसरे बेस पे जाना है तो वो फ्लाइट दूसरी फ्लाइट में नहीं जाते थे वो एक फाइटर जेट लेके जाते थे अलॉन्ग विद अदर टीम मेंबर्स एंड वुड गो देयर एंड दैट्स वाई कैप फ्लाइंग He retired in August 1969. Now, इसके बाद में क्या किया गाइस? Is what we are seeing a very important thing over here. CAS का full form बहुत बार दे चुके हैं. Okay. The meaning of the word CAS is Chief of Chief of Air Staff. All right. He uh, so now let us see what did he do after his retirement. He accepted the ambassadorship to Switzerland. Ambassadorship means to go and be the head of the indian embassy in switzerland embassy pata na kya hota hai yes representative very good this is mehul from devidyal very good ambassador is a representative of india ek ambassador woh insaan ban sakta hai jisne jiske upar koi bhi daag na ho jisne kuch bhi galat na kiya ho desh ke liye and that's why he was selected so he then went on to still work after his retirement for india he was the lieutenant governor of delhi from december 1989 to december 1990 yani ki inhone ye wala governor ka kaam bhi kiya inhone theek hai so he kept serving since 1969 mein retirement ho gaya hai but uske baad bhi 20 saal tak this man kept working okay for the next 20 years he kept working having been a source of inspiration to all the personnel personnel alag hota hai personnel alag hota hai what do you mean by personnel personnel jar employees and officers he was an ins- uh, source of inspiration to all the officers of the armed forces through the years the government conferred what do you mean by the word conferred the government conferred the word conferred means granted or bestowed granted or bestowed the rank of marshal of the air force upon arjun singh in january 2002 making him the first and the only five star rank officer with indian air force guys which date in january was he awarded with this which date which date come on yes on the 26th of january republic day not 15th of august baba padhaya maine ye cheez aapko fir bhi 15th of august bol rahe hain kuch kuch log किसी ने ट्वेंटी जनवरी लिखा हुआ है क्या बात है ऑल राइट एंड दैट्स हाउ गाइस वी आर डन विद द लेसन ओके सो गाइस आई वांट यू टू डू सर्टेन थिंग्स आई वांट यू टू डू सर्टेन थिंग्स सो गाइस आई वांट यू जस्ट सेकंड आई विल show you my textbook here so that you can understand i'm really sorry to extend this lecture but kafi acha lesson tha ye so i thought i'll finish this kyunki next time aapas thoda aur lesson karte to maza nahi aata aapko so just a moment i'll put this on textbook All right, guys. I think you can see my textbook here. All right. So the last time we were supposed to do activity one, two, and three. All right. So today, guys, I want you to do activity four, as you can see here. Activity four, activity five. Okay, activity five, activity six. Okay, activity six is called word register. Activity six is called word register. यानी कि आपको military से related पूरे book में से आप lesson में से आपको words बताने हैं. All right, activity four, five, and six is your homework. And guys, that's it. so if you have some doubts you can post it on the chat and i will answer your doubts oh yes you wanted to see the photos of the airplane kafi log aise chale gaye chalo koi baat nahi abhi kafi log chale gaye so i'll show you the photographs the next time just remind me in the beginning of the lecture to show you the photographs of all the planes 
or rather i'll do one thing i will send all these photographs to you people uh on uh, via whatsapp that would be better aaj hi bhej dunga aapko homework ke sath whatsapp i'll also send you the photographs i vijay i wanted to show it now but then thoda late ho gaya beta and a lot of students have left already because unko next lecture ke liye ready hona hai so we'll do the next time uh yes lieutenant bhi usko bolte hain aur lieutenant bhi bolte hain american english means pronounced as lieutenant or we and in english british english we are supposed to what we learn is the uk english so hum log lieutenant bolte hain thank you so much om if you love the lesson i am so happy अरे मिलिट्री वर्ड्स है ना कितने सारे अंदर जैसे कि आर्मी जनरल है फिर फील्ड मार्शल है ये सब आर्मी के वर्ड्स हैं मिलिट्री के वर्ड्स हैं मिलिट्री एज इन डिफेंस पूरा का पूरा मीनिंग ऑफ आर्मर्ड आर्मर्ड इज प्रोटेक्टेड विद प्रोटेक्टेड विद लॉट ऑफ आर्म्स एंड एमिनेशन देर इज एन एडमिरल ऑफ फ्लीट इन राइट नाउ देर इज नो वन तनवी बिकॉज अब तक शायद कोई डिजर्विंग मिला नहीं है उनको शायद इस साल अब तो कोई है नहीं All right. What is the meaning of LOC? LOC is line of control, which we can't cross. Nahi kar sakte. Uh, Samarth word chain and word register. Word chain. Me kaise hota hai na? Aapko last letter se naya word banana hai. For example, agar me bolu uh, beautiful, so beautiful ka last word hai, last letter is L. So L se adjective hai ka lazy. Y se youth. Wo word chain hota hai. Word register is ek word se related words aapko likhne hote hain. Different between mouse and rat. Mouse chota hota hai, rat bada hota hai. Great lecture. Thank you so much. I will show the photographs in the other lecture. Chalo, ठीक है. Do you, sir, की जय. Thank you so much, Preet, for the kind words. Astute means sharp. Hello, see, मैंने बताया आपको already. Line of control. What is in the hand of Arjun Singh? Yeah, I cannot see it right now. चांदे बांदे बात करेंगे. Thank you so much, everyone. See you. Take care. Bye, bye.